Dear diary, I'm going through changes, like for real, for real. <laughs> Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So, on today's episode of Dear Diary, I want to discuss how things are changing for me. I feel like I'm going through changes once again. I feel like perhaps it's because my birthday's coming up or, you know, I've reconnected with God again. Um, it's many factors probably, but I just feel like there was this tweet that once said that your 20s is just about like figuring things out and then figuring things out again. I feel like it's just a constant roller coaster of like, you know, trying to figure things out. Today's Bank Holiday Monday, so it is the 28th of August, which is Carnival Weekend, Carnival Day, and anyone who knows me knows that i am a carnival attendee like i'm there it's been so many years like i can't remember i started going to carnival in like college and i haven't stopped since <laughs> like i've just been going this is like first year of college like my first carnival was crazy like it was obviously i'd been before like with my mom and stuff but like by myself like to party and celebrate that started in like, I think it's first year of college and that one was crazy. Like I still remember, I still have flashbacks, like it was actually too funny. And like obviously subsequent carnivals after that, like they've just always been a ball, you know, a lot of memories. Like we actually had a really good time. Like <laughs> we've had so many good times at carnival and you know, I fear that my carnival days are over. It's crazy I'm sat here on a Monday evening. I've got work tomorrow. I dropped my sister off into town so that she can meet her friends and go to carnival. I gave my brother money so that he could go to carnival, Notting Hill. And then I proceeded to come home. I showered, ate and like just got ready and did like my little videos and like just had some me time and really like spent time alone like I had the whole house to myself and like I could really like take my time with things and like walk around the house naked listening to my Brazilian love songs like I literally had a blast like it's been a great time today and the whole day I was just like laughing like how unbothered I am to like not be at carnival or like not be out for like bank holiday weekend and like not be doing things because I did actually have something well I was trying to plan something with one of my friends but that didn't go to plan um and that was just like drinks going out and stuff so that didn't go to plan and then you know I was just quite okay with like staying home not spending and like you know just spending a quiet one indoors I feel like once I made that decision like I feel like I was very like comfortable because guys I'm talking about this but it's like something that it's like a ritual type of thing like I, I've been going to carnival every single year like I was always gonna go to carnival I was always gonna you know go enjoy my bank holiday weekend do you know what I mean whether that was in Leeds or London but well, typically in London so yeah so the fact that I was just so like once I made that decision and I was just so okay with that I was like this is real different like this is really different like how come i'm not like you know bothered about this whole thing the whole day i've been like watching snaps seeing people get ready go out and i've just been like laughing and like smiling and like enjoying through their snaps but like no part of me feels like any type of way that i wasn't out and i wasn't enjoying and you know and it's just a weird feeling like it's just crazy to feel okay with not doing those things because i feel like i've been accustomed to it for so long and it's not just carnival as well i feel like this kind of speaks to things that i've been thinking about anyway like going on like party holidays for example a year ago like if one of my friends told me let's go to this um party holiday let's go dlt malta i would be like 
let's go like let's put the deposit down today like i would even be the one like organizing the hotel all of that like let's go but even doing things like that i'm not on it like i'm not on like party holidays anymore and i feel like that's when i really began seeing changes i really do hope that like with time god changes my desires more and more but right now i'm not saying that i can't party and like you know because i really still do love a party <laughs> like i love going out for drinks number one with like my girls i love day parties like i still enjoy partying but there's just like certain things that like i've done for so long that i'm just like not into anymore and i feel like carnival is one of those things and party holidays is another one of those things and like when the whole like the old team malta extravaganza came out this year and it was like a whole hype thing and like my friend was like let's go let's go they were dropping dates and like and i was just like i'm just like not sure on it like i'd I, like i feel like if i did go for it i feel like i'd be doing it from a fear point of view from like the fear of missing out rather than me actually like wanting to be there everyone knows what vibe party holidays are like you're there to like drink every day if you're a smoker smoke every day um if you're single you're mingling every day you know it's just like you know it's that kind of scene like if you know you know like i've been to like several party holidays and like i know the vibe like i've been the whole day like i said i was just like reflecting on this and i was just like laughing to myself and like just thinking about like you know how transformative that is because I mean I have been speaking about like not going carnival for a long time because I do feel like I am getting old and it's like the crowd keeps getting younger and I just feel like why am I in the crowd with these kids like I just don't want to be doing that but like aside from that I really do feel like God is really like just changing my desires and like you know the circles I want to be in the people I want to be around and you know we thank God for growth because I just think it's like a whole 360 because who I was last year I would have booked the LT Malta today, yesterday. It just makes me think like how much more is God going to transform me and it's a bit scary in a sense but it's like if I've like changed this much right now and I'm okay with it like I feel like I'm gonna be just fine if like you know I change even more type of things so I just feel like with my birthday coming up as well I feel like I am you know just more reflective like, even like my aspirations are changing like I feel like before like I was like hell-bent on like having like a fashion label and like now it's like you know like those things that you think are set in stone like I feel like it's really changing for me I don't know like I feel like the whole purpose of this diary entry is to express that I'm going through changes and it's okay you know for me it's only scary because I've realized how comfortable I am with the changes and it's like how much more am I going to change to anyone like watching or looking in like it's not even like that big of a deal but I feel like these are things that like I've just been accustomed to doing for like so long that it almost feels like a part of like not my identity but it's like that's kind of like what I like doing do you know what I mean like your likes and dislikes is obviously a part of your identity and like what you like doing is part of who you are and like those kind of things is a part of who I am well was a part of who I am but like I just feel like I'm drifting more and more away from that and it's like I just want to be doing different things I just want to be in different spaces change change is a weird thing but I feel like it's okay do you know what I mean I feel like regardless of what change you're going through I feel like change comes for a good reason you know the seasons to life you know there's you know there's spring the summer there's autumn there's winter different seasons call for different things I'm going into my 27th season <laughs> 27th year of life and like I feel like the women who I envision myself to be like you know in this year and beyond is like you know I feel like she's just so different to like who I am right now she's really on fire for the Lord like she's a woman of God like she's in her word and she's like a disciple of Christ 
I feel like she's someone who's like really active and like you know just doing things whether that's like going swimming or you know going for a walk I feel like she's someone who's like career focused like the mark that she wants to leave on this world and like you know really getting her career in order and like really building a name for herself I feel like she's just real elegant and sophisticated I feel like she's real kind caring obviously compassionate and loving more loving than I am now obviously because boy obviously I have that vision of myself but I know you know I know God thinks way higher of me like what I see of myself is not what God sees of me and you know if I see myself in that light or what I could be like imagine now what God sees in me like God created me like he knows my potential and like who I will become who he's called me to be and it's like it's nothing I doubt that it's even like 10% of like what I see I'm trusting him to like change me day by day I feel like I'm not completely surrendering and I feel like that's where like my cognitive dissonance is coming in because I feel like I've just been real like dull in like my mood recently I just feel real dull real sluggish like I just feel like ugh you know when you feel ugh that's how I've been feeling so I don't feel like I've like really like surrendered myself to like to what God is doing in my life right now I don't feel like I've really like been praying over it the way I should be but I still see the changes I'm seeing I'm peeping the changes and it's like real like wow like what is going on and it makes me think like am I gonna have like the same people around me for forever for as long as I'm on this earth like will I still have the same friends I just wonder who's like gonna be in my life as like I embark on like this journey of like change um, and I don't know what the journey is like, I don't know what it's going to look like, I don't know how it's going to feel, I just know that it's a change that I'm going to go through and I'm okay to go through it, like I'm quite excited to go through it because I feel like, you know, God's calling me to be who he's called me to be um, and it just makes me think like, who am I going to be around, who's going to be my friends, who's going to be my boyfriend, my husband, like you know how what am I gonna look like how how am I gonna feel type of thing it just makes me think of things like that with my birthday usually like I'm actually real like depressed around my birthday and I'm just like oh, can we get this day over and done with like I'm just so over my birthday like a lot of the times um, but this year I'm actually okay with my birthday like I'm actually not feeling any type of way about it it's like okay my birthday's coming up cool I haven't made any plans for it I'm not gonna make any plans for it like I'm very much okay with like not doing anything let me know in the comments if you guys you know are experiencing something similar or not like how are you feeling in regards to like your life <laughs> like do you feel like you're where you want to be do you feel like you are where you're supposed to be do you feel like you're content right now do you feel like you're changing in any way you know how how do you feel right now i'd like to know i'd love to know i really wish that i had more people engaging in my comments that would actually be a dream so let's pray over that i pray in the name of the lord jesus christ that i will get more interactions in the comments and i will get more like-minded people having these type of conversations with me because that's how i actually thrive in like conversations like deep conversations like i love it um and i really do hope that i am able to build a community of people that want to have these conversations um but yeah I think that's it for me um i don't even think i said much but again it's a diary entry like it's just a diary entry like it's not that serious it's literally not that serious like i'm going through changes i'm going through changes that's how I feel. I think that's the end of the video guys. I don't think I have much else to say. Um, 
thank you guys for listening to me if you watched the entire video thank you i love you and i appreciate you thank you so much for you know spending time with me today and i hope to catch you here again next time <laughs> thank you ciao